I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. I'm Arthur Boyle of Performance Appraisal Services. We're residential real estate appraisers with a company founded in 1994 by Mike Gianelli and I in the basement of my house in Malden. We've since grown to have offices in Malden and Pembroke. We serve the Eastern Mass counties, including Cape Cod. A good client for us is an attorney or a private landowner or a private property owner who's going through a probate process or a divorce division of property. Call us at 781-293-6900. Ask for Arthur Boyle or Amanda Boyle Grazioso. Our first name is Performance. Today is Monday evening, May 8th, 2017. All board members are present. Uh, we have PAC TV as well as Pembroke News Channel here. Please note that this meeting is be being made available to the public through an audio recording which will be used to ensure an accurate record of the proceedings produced in the minutes of the meeting. All comments made in open session will be and are being recorded. With that being said, we have signed payroll. We have a really full agenda this evening, so I'm going to, I believe, our... And if it pleases the board, keep in mind, if the evening goes long, you might want to table some items, because keep in mind, town meeting is tomorrow night. We will have a long and full town meeting agenda just to, to keep in your minds. Okay. Because I know you all have full personal schedules as well. And 306 School Street is here, but what I'd like to do first, I'm going to break these down. I have three minute, uh, minute meetings. I would like to ask for a motion to accept the minutes of March 27th as written and the minute meeting minute meeting of April 10th 2007 as written. Madam Chair, I'd like to see the March 27th uh, minute meetings. They're currently 17 pages long. It's basically supposed to be a synopsis of what happened, of what the discussion was, and it's supposed to capture what the meeting is about, not a verbatim. Uh, 17 pages is exceptionally long. I could reasonably see maybe two or three to 17. Um, I think that this needs to be reduced so for the residents' clarity and for um, several other reasons. On, on your motion, you, you, did you make a motion, Madam Chair? I made a motion to accept both sets okay. of minute meetings okay. as written. But uh, b b before I take a vote on the motion, I'd like to comment on what Mr. Sweeney, fellow board member, just said. Mm -hmm. And in, in spirit, I, I agree 100 percent. 17 pages is quite lengthy, and uh, I think going forward, they could and should be cut down. You know, every meeting is different in and of itself, and there are times that the minutes that are being taken by our secretary will reflect the content of the meeting. You know, some nights you might have four pages, other nights you might have nine. So I agree with you, they should be shortened. Um, in the spirit of moving forward, I would second your motion, but I would like to see going forward, like Ms. McSweeney said, they, sh should, they should be shortened. I agree with you. But I will make a motion to approve the minutes of the 27th. I will second the motion to approve the minutes of the 27th of March and the 10th of April, thank you. Are okay, you accepting I will, April 10th scale? I will accept April 10th, and I'm going to know on the March 27, 2017, please. <clears throat> okay, so Gail, it is a no. All in favor for the March 27th? Aye. Aye. And Gail is a no. In regards to April 10th, it is, uh, I sec it has been second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, so all three of us are with that. In regards to the minutes of May 1st, it was a meeting that both Gary and I were here. Gil had a previous commitment. We had to call a special meeting in advance. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the minutes of the meeting of May 1st as 
Ritten. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Gail is abstaining due to reasons I just stated. Okay, so these are all set. Ms. Shayla for you. And then moving right along, uh, we'll go right into 306 School Street Variance. Can I choose as the board just to, to help expedite by all means if the board cares to go in another direction, be feel free to do so. But in order to paraphrase to move along in a very, very packed agenda, this very nice gentleman has a pre-existing older home with a septic system uh, that begins to encroach on one of the egresses to his house where he would like to construct a deck to presumably gain better access to his house and make better use of his property. The agent has advised him as to the dangers of digging and constructing in close proximity um, to his septic system. I advised him that if he was still um, needed to go forward with this project um, that he prepare a well-scaled drawing to explain exactly how much he will be encroaching on the 10-foot setback we insist upon from someone's septic tanks. I also advised him if he's going to dig closer to his septic tank in than 10 feet that it would be likely the board would insist that that hole be hand dug to avoid any damage to that tank. Um, he complied. He returned, I think, a day or two later with a well-scaled drawing showing the board um, where the one footing uh, would be that would be quote unquote too close by our definition regulations to his septic tank. I believe he is seeking a variance reduction of 10 feet down to 5 feet from your tank. Is it going to be? Yes, so, uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, a little bit further away. So yes. no closer than 5 feet. No so maybe 5 right. to 6 feet. No, it's five but and say half, always five say the minimum as, as on the, the higher side yeah. versus the lower side. Right. right. The, uh, and, and of course, as the, if, as the board's well aware, it's important to list the, the closest encroachment. In other words, it shall be no closer than five feet if it ends up being a little further away because that's how it scales out as they build all the better. But the, my understanding with this applicant is that the, the footing shall be no closer than five feet to the septic tank and it shall be hand dug, uh, not with a, a heavy, heavy hydraulic equipment to avoid damage. When was the septic system put in? You know, approximately 20 some odd years ago. It's not a newer system, but it's not old enough that it's going to be replaced in, in the foreseeable future. Okay. Um, and you're, you have been, you have advised them that if there is any damage done the to the tank, that it, if the onus falls on you as the home. He owners. understands it is his responsibility. Okay. Would you also be willing to um, do a clause if you do in the future sign, sell the house to let them know? Um, about the variance that was that was given by the board Absolutely. and your restrictions. Yes, ma'am. Okay. If it pleases the board, just to let yeah. the board know, when a variance is given and a property is referenced, we do make a photocopy of it, highlight the action that pertains to the property, and put a copy of that in right. the property file. Sorry, so yeah, if yeah. anyone were to do a file search, um, disclosure is is obvious by doing a simple. Well, I just like if, if for whatever reason, I'd like another homeowner to know that. Right. Um, no, it, it, it will. It will it reside in the. Right. Um, it will reside in the file for infinity, basically. That the the onus is on the homeowner. Correct. And therefore, this absolutely. Will absolutely all down. onus. All okay. onus is on the on the homeowner. Can I assume that you're Mr. Blakeman? Yes, sir. And this yes, is sir. your sister? No, it's girlfriend. I'm I'm teasing. Okay. My uh, sister doesn't look this good. Shane, how long have you been in the house? Uh, we've been in the house um, about 14 months now. Oh, new to Pembroke? Uh, yeah, we've been in the house for about two years in Pembroke. Oh, yeah. I was in the Pembroke Woods Apartments for a year, and then we bought down on School Street okay. uh, in March of last year. Yeah. And was there a deck there? Is this replacing a, an existing there, deck? What, what's there right now is a couple steps leading up to the um, to the side door on the B side of the house, if you look okay. at it, um, the left side. That right now is becoming a hazard. It's pulling away from the house. Um, it's going to need steps. to be replaced. Yes. Um, when I purchased the house, it was falling off. And they should have that. So um, it, it's going to need to be replaced. And what I'd like to do, what we'd like to do, is build a deck that wraps around um, the steps up goes around the back side of the house, and then eventually uh, possibly a sliding door for another way of egress out of, um, out of the house in case of an emergency. So with this, it's going to kind of accomplish more than one thing. Mm -hmm. And then that's the Okay. Are you doing it yourself? Yes, sir. I apologize. It should be a lot of Yeah, I didn't have one. That's why. It should be a lot of How long do you think it'll take you to build the deck? 
Uh, it's gonna go maybe a little bit slow, but I'm thinking no longer than three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, I got That's a nuts. <laughs> well, I like it done yesterday, but you know, um, my, my friends and family helping there. We all got sporadic schedules in the fire department. So. So, um, in regards to this section, um, I don't see any problem with this as long as you know that the onus is on yourself. Can dig in. Um, please be very careful. Very costly piece of item work buried I, in the I, ground. I don't need any problems. So, with that, with that being said, I'd like to make a motion to accept. Um, the variance for 306 School Street as written. Let the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Get it done before the summer. Enjoy. Have Thanks. a great summer. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy Thank you. Don't you forget to the vote. Give me your name set up. Do you have your building permit with you? I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, you would hand that to me. Did you pull it out of your phone? Thank you, sir. Anyway, it's, it's that was what was in the front before. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, right here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fine. That's what Mr. Collins oh, okay. is here for. <coughs> yeah. I just had to wait and see if, if the homeowner is. Finding nobody's next. And um, yeah. no. These plans of conservation. So people walk in that we don't know. But we mm -hmm. went to conservation last week. There was an erosion control mm -hmm. modification. Mm -hmm. So that these would be the. Tonight's plans, if possible. Okay. Yep. What we will do is, I just want to make sure that we have the whole file. Madam Chair, I just made an announcement outside, as it is 6:45, to see if there were any other concerned parties regarding 51 Adams. I found no no persons waiting and no parties interested. Okay. So we can you are continue forward. Yeah. Okay. And then. Mr. Collins just advised me that he has plans here that went through Comcon. -Con. Mm -hmm. If Mr. Collins would be so kind as to update the board as to whatever changes were, were adjusted okay. or made. Is that going to be the same map that is on there? Yes. Okay. Do you, how many files do, how many do we, we keep? need three copies of that map. One, two, three. So I'll give you one okay. back and then I'll open this guy up. This is this is the one that's got lots of changes on it. Collins Civil Engineering Group. I'm a registered professional engineer at uh, West Bridgewater. I'm uh, representing Mr. John Daniels. He's to my right, your left. Hello, Mr. Daniels. Uh, Hello. For, for a septic upgrade, his his system is in failure, and um, contacted me several months ago, and I prepared him a proposal to go before the Conservation Commission and Board of Health for. Um, the upgrade of his septic system. It's an existing two-bedroom house located on the west side of Adams Ave. Old Ham Pond is the westerly property line. Um, due to the proximity of the pond, the extremely small lot size, um, we were uh, basically forced to um, request numerous local upgrade approvals. Can you see? Um, they're pretty much all set back uh, requests, primarily to the house and lot lines associated with the tank and the leaching field. Uh, we are maintaining the five foot water table separation uh, that's warranted for, um, so we are not requesting any white water table separation reduction. Um, the two affected of butters is the butter to the north and uh, for property line setback for the tank to the property line, which is five feet. The, uh, the requirement is 10 feet. And then the, uh, and then the other affected abutter is the abutter to the east, which is the town of Pembroke uh, to, uh, set back to the street line. That requirement is 10 feet, and we're only seven feet off of uh, those two lot lines. As a result of that, the those two affected abutters have been notified by certified mail. I have the green cards and white cards. You're welcome to mm -hmm. both of them, or, or, um, or I get copies of them. Or, Sheila, do you want to? Do you need a copy of these? We green put them. Cards? We usually take the cards and put them in the pro property you record. Green and then or white? That makes no difference to us. Whatever you do not, as long as we have one copy. And can you check one more time if there is any abutter out there? Thank you. Thank you. So, um, so basically it's an existing two bedroom house. We're extremely limited to what we can do here. It was the existing. The existing is in the front yard. There's an existing uh, pit right here. And there's a pit. Yeah, there's two pits in the front yard. It's very hard to see. Basically the septic tank is going where the old tank is. And then there's a leaching pit here and a leaching pit here. So you can see that gray dash circle mm -hmm. there, and gray dash circle there. Mm -hmm. um, you know those. So those are both in the water table. <coughs> and um, we went in there. We uh, we dug down, determined groundwater soil conditions. We did have a substantial amount of water coming into the hole, which triggered us to collect a, a soil sample uh, and establish and establish everything by uh, by sieve analysis. 
And then back to what you're talking about conservation. We went to conservation last week. We received approval. Uh, we received what's called a negative determination, which is, it sounds bad, but it's actually good. It's what you want. Um, positive determination means you have to go back for a more, more, more formal uh, application process. But basically, they asked us to, um, they asked us to put in a, I think we had silt fence, or uh, silt sock, and now we have a silt sock, and they wanted wood chips to be placed on the uphill side of the, um, of the work. The, that erosion control is going right along here, and, and right along here. That's where the stick is. Yes, yep, so these gray dashed lines here, mm -hmm. and the gray dashed lines here, that'll completely seal off the pond, the work between the work and the pond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, it's just incredibly difficult set of circumstances. Now uh, along here, this isn't, um, this, we're not doing any variances on this, right? Nope. As far as, nope. we're just asking to move it in, but everything else is yes. in compliance. Yep, yeah, it's, it's the house, the northerly lot line and the easterly lot line that we don't have, uh, we don't meet the uh, requirements. requirements. So, Mr. Pelt, Mr. Collins, how many GPD did you manage to get out of the tight site you were looking at? Could you repeat the question? I didn't hear you. Gallons per day. How about 224. How about so, so we are we are down from the 150 yeah. gallons per day right. that the town would like down to state 110, but he managed to fit a full-size system avoiding further right. reductions, which would have led us to alternative treatment, which would have led us to a second tank and even further reduced leaching area, which Mr. Collins and I talked about on site that we we were very concerned about it. In other words, you put in another tank and you lose another, you know, 20, 30 square feet of leaching well, on an already small yard. That was a concern. And, yeah, or the alternative is to rip the porch off the house. Um, the other thing that I have here is um, what we did is instead of having a separate septic tank and a separate pump chamber, we have a single tank just because of the lack of space. Um, and what we have, I actually have a two compartment septic tank that goes into a thousand gallon pump chamber. It's a single 2,500 gallon tank. Okay. Uh, yes, so rather than having a separate 2,500 gallon tank and a separate thousand gallon tank, we have a single tank. We just save, we save about a foot and a half in a mm -hmm. couple directions. Um, and it, For more leaching area. And the, other, and the other thing, uh, yeah, to provide us as much space for leaching, the other thing that we're doing is we're seal coating the tank. <coughs> I do spec out two compartment tanks on all my systems, even though it's not required by code. Mm -hmm. It just gives you double settling. And I also spec out a Nova sized, um, it's like a 2,000 gallon a day oversized um, filter, outlet filter. So it's just, with the two compartment tank and the large filter, it makes a very big difference. Yeah. And Question. Yeah, and I have questions too. Do you okay. want to go? No, go ahead. Okay. Um, and the, on the bottom of this, it says local bylaw because we did brought up the 220 gallon, which I had seen, but I also saw um, local bylaw variance request and that um, it varies to use Title V design flow of 110 per gallon per bedroom is requested. Is this going to be part of this or are we going to stay with the 220? Uh, 220, it's uh, two bedrooms, so it's two two uh, it's 110 yeah. per bedroom. Okay, so the local bylaw variance request is will, not, yeah, will apply. No, we are. We, they, they have for against the local variances, okay, uh, or, or uh, upgrade. They have one through eight, and then they're going to ask for the town, our local bylaw, which is a town Correct. bylaw. They're asking, also asking for one, which is a reduction. So to they, reduce it. To reduce it. And what every time you reduce it, especially to this low number, you have to put a deed restriction. So recorded at the Registry of Deeds okay. with the fact that nobody will ever be able to make this house anything other than a two-bedroom. A two-bedroom. Legally. Right. Okay. Okay. We'll stay with that. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> um, yes, there's, so we're looking at nine different variances on this. We haven't even gotten down to that one, but I'd like to go back. No, I was if the kind board of, would, if kind the of board would allow. I'm looking at the foundation wall to the SAA, SAS. So on one side, we're, we're going from 20 to 8. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But there's going to be a liner there. Yeah. And then we're going from 10 down to 4. 
Uh, that is for the tank. Yeah. For the septic tank. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and the, which requires a minimum setback of the property line. Okay, get that from 20 to 7. That's the setback to the, t to the town property line. Mm -hmm. Property line. Adams yeah, I mean, we're not talking a couple of feet here. We've got a good amount of footage. Mm -hmm. um, 10 down to 5. A little closer. Use of the grain sieve analysis, which we understand. No problem. Excavation of unsuitable soil. So because you're putting it back in the same place, you're excavating the suitable s soil within the leach field. The contaminated soil. And the contaminated all, all soil. The components and, and if the, all the and components. Else in the pit need to leave the, the premise. It needs okay. to be left with clean material only. How, how, how many feet um, is the ground to water? Do we have that on here? 54 inches. Yeah, I was going to say it's only about five. Four and a half feet. Okay. So yes, part of this pit and unsuitable material will be removed from below the water table, which is of course what likely led to the demise of the system in the first place. This pit is probably too deep to begin with. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have a question? Okay. There's still nobody else out there? No, I've checked a few times. Okay. It's really uh, quiet out there tonight. Well. <laughs> and it's in failure right now. Is Mr. Mm -hmm. Daniels living on the property? Yes. How long has it been in failure for? It's been struggling for quite a while. Quite a while. Functional failure yes. or Title yeah. Five yeah. failure? A, two different things. It's a, mm. it's a functional, functional failure, failure it's a, in the it's, last few it's months. It's functional failure right it's now. It's working, right? but it won't pass an inspection, and right. it, it does it does fluctuate the height elevations. It does fluctuate, which concerns him. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, that would concern me as well. I know the area. I don't see any. Um, other than the water table, um, and I don't seem to have a problem with that. With the how far down are the barriers? Do the barriers go? They go into the groundwater uh, down to fifty elevation fifty six zero. So the ground around the system is about elevation sixty and a half. So about three and a half feet down below the the existing grade which does two things it gets you into the groundwater but also gets you below the um it's a crawl space it gets the barrier would go below the elevation of the crawl space which would be the other okay how much grade say maybe about, about four two, 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 two feet i'm sorry what was it grade grade, grade, grade. about two foot elevation change in the very, very middle, and then it will taper a little bit. Okay. Which is about the height of the system next door, and actually both directions. This um, this isn't raised at all, is it? This is, yes, it, it's it is. about two feet. About two feet, okay. Could some of these variances come off if you raised it higher than two feet? No. No. They're all horizontal variances. The, the engineer did not request a, a reduction to groundwater separation as he he had already requested a reduction in size in, in, in general. Okay. We do not request both unless it's a court of last resort and then you're looking usually at alternative treatment, which we were struggling for, mm -hmm. as it is both expensive and then requires more maintenance. This, oh, I, I, this I, is I, optimal yeah. functionality with the only, mm -hmm. if you would, added component to this being the pump chamber, which is unavoidable because of the water table. Right. Right. And the uh, and honestly, like I said, the two compartment tank, um, Provides. it's nice, simple, passive, supplemental treatment. You know, and, you know, and uh, doing that extra compartment adds about $300 to the project. And it, like you just get, you go from 99 and a half percent removal to like, and then you go through a set another uh, round of settling, and it just really gets it. And, uh, just really, 
nice easy way to clean the water without spending a bunch of money. Right. And what were you saying about to avoid having to remove the deck or the porch? Well, if this this whole part in the front here which faces the right here is yeah. a porch. Is a porch. It's an enclosed porch. Isn't that right. actually, actually that's a room, isn't it? It's an old porch that's actually Three, it's, 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 it's a room dinette where you it's, 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 so it's actually it's not it's a little room that's yeah, the it, front door yeah so it's heated right so I guess that's not even an option because yeah. that's actually part of the heated living space part of the heated I, living I think space. it used to, might have been a porch at one point no no no, no it's always I, been I, I couldn't say if I was or not because before you got there, it it was a I saw the little dinette that used to be there okay so it is heated living space now oh yes yeah. it's, it's got the, the heated registers Pardon? Registers? The heat ducts. Yeah, the heat, the heat, the heat, heat, heat ducts. Yeah, the, the yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's run right by the, so, by the window. So I apologize. I was, what I was thinking was a porch is actually is a dining Yeah, because I'm, I'm well, just okay. trying you know, to see what I can do. Yeah. You know. yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll leave you dining yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Daniels. Um, it's old talk. <laughs> do you reside in this home by yourself? Pardon? Do you reside in this home by yourself? Yes. Okay. You know, he's no no yeah. real estate transactions involved. No. He's planning on staying there indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means. <laughs> Who knows what it means? We're gonna sit there and watch the sunset and <laughs> sun, sunrise. All right. Well, um, if I don't, I think we would like to make a motion. Um, yeah. You know, I think this. Uh, to be honest, I, you know, this is the most. I think that I have seen um, I've done more. so far, yeah, on my tenure here on the board of, of Pembroke. Um, I, I'm sure you have. I'm I did sure you 220 have. 220 of these last year. And, With this? And, and um, I get about 2,700 of these in the ground. I mean, just, I, I do all this. With all these variants, with, with so many variances. I've I'm, had 14, 15 variances, but, you know, that's probably about the most I've ever had. But, yep. But this is a lot. Yeah, it is. This is like one out of every hundred designs. Right. Except, and it's usually a body of water, mm -hmm. an old lot that was mm -hmm. that created prior to zoning. Just, yeah. This is a... Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky him. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> All right. Well, Lisa, do you have anything else that you'd like to add before mm -hmm. the board makes a motion? No, we spent a fair amount of time on site assessing the opportunities and as small as this looks on paper I assure you it's even smaller when you're standing there literally the excavation took up the entire yard to excavate anymore we would have all been in the pit um, and this is this is a well thought out approach providing the maximum removal of suspended solids from the water before introducing the ground short of alternative treatment outlined alternative treatment would have required losing even more square footage of leaching space and we just didn't see the return um, on better water versus what we are discharging and it's better to disperse over a larger area so we kicked a lot of cans down the road but to preserve the home to preserve the pond to preserve the the yard as much as possible even with the system coming up this was the best the best plan we could you certainly put in as many safety nets as you could possibly put in to be able to uh and the good thing is, the, the good thing is, it it is uh, you know a, a nice sandy soil there. So Correct. if we were dealing with anything other than that, we would be in. Well, if we were down on Stetson Pond or something like that, it might be a little bit different. But you're a little bit away. Okay. The ponds. So I want to say, probably. It really needs to be replaced so I don't know, for some time. Um, I'm going to make a motion to accept the local upgrade approval request as noted, items number one through eight. Madam Chair, just point of clarification it, it's easier to move all variances as requested as you have both state and local mm -hmm. upgrade variances there i know but i want to call oh. them i'm gonna i'm gonna move one them all eight. but i want to one I through eight was this what one, the one, one through eight, eight was the local upgrade approval okay. request there's ten. <coughs> there's ten okay then ours is outdated what are the other two if you have a newer copy George. yes please 
We've got nine in total. Or ten? Well, yeah, but there's the ten. There's ten orders. on. There's ten on oh, this one. Oh, okay, I think. Yeah. So on the plan that you have in front of us, there's ten. So what's been added is allowing one deep observation hole. And then the same as this, so the variance of minimum of five feet by right then. Reduction from five to three feet is requested. Okay. Okay. So I'll read it off this from is, here then. This is the, okay. Okay. This okay. Is the, this yeah, is we the, were just on our on our minutes. Okay. Um, on the agenda. The previous was one shy. The correct? previous yeah. was too shy. Too shy. Under the upgrades. I've got a copy of the house. Okay. Copy yeah, and, and we're looking we're looking at this here. Okay. I think Gary is just cross checking his information. So this okay. Which is from 200 reduction from 200 feet to 86 feet as requested. Thank you. Actually, five and six. Yeah, because they were two more. Five and six. So this, just so that you can read them, which was different than what we were we were looking at. Five and six on this one are the different than the ones that we were handed out before the meeting. In addition to. Okay, because this is a variance from 200 feet to 96 feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that to the tank and the pond? Yeah. Yeah, from the tributary to the surface water supply to the SAS. Okay, so with that being said, we're still looking at a very tight parcel with a system that is going to fail if not already in Dyer Street. So I'd like to make a motion. Once again, local upgrade approval request items number one through ten as stated on the plan presented by Collins Civil Engineering as well as oh okay. D uh, per the date of conservation you be charge. May second, two thousand seventeen, which is the plan in front of us. The final plan, as well as the local <coughs> bylaw variance request, item number one on that said plan of May 2nd, 2017. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. And Gary is abstaining. Okay. Are you good? You are good. All right. Um, Mr. Daniels, you yes. are all set. Good. Um, sorry about your little confusion last week. Oh, yeah, I was, you showed up at our meeting. Yeah, I went downstairs. You know, so it's a nice place, place to come visit. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. It's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to One of them. Yeah, I Remember hear you. Yeah. 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 That goes along with I can't eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Right, take care. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. No problem. Thank you for Can I luck. luck. You're thank welcome. You being expedient. Good luck. Thank you. Mr. Best you wishes to you. <laughs> thank you. Mr. Daniels, yes. have you selected an installer as yet, sir? Pardon? Have you selected who's doing this work, sir, so I can contact them? Uh, yes, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Mr. Morissette. If you want to pick this up any time after 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, Mr. Morissette. I'm good. Give Sheila a chance to stamp it in and record it, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Oh, we still have um, seven seven minutes until we go on to um, Wampata. Hi. So, Lisa, I'm going to hop right back to you if you can get into a high gear. Um, update on our manure complaint for Priscilla Drive. Um, Mr. Miller actually came by. I've been by the property twice. There's absolutely no material added to that pile. That I can definitively say as there's no color or texture shift. Um, Mr. Miller um, did speak with the office secretary, um, let her know that he has purchased a trailer and that he's going to continue to remove the pile by hand and he is actively negotiating with Mr. Woods 
um, hopefully some sort of uh, more economic advantageous way to help expedite that process beyond what he can physically do um, and he's actively working on that right now. I can say from my personal travels by there is no new material. It does appear as though the pile is getting smaller, not that I have a unit of measure for a pile. Um, but there's absolutely no new material as the board insisted. And they're going to utilize the recycle center for Correct. going forward. Mm -hmm. Correct. Awesome. And that's what the, I'm sorry, the purchase of the trailer is, be, that's, that's what the trailer that's is. That's what the trailer is. Purchase the trailer. Correct. Wow. I believe a used, but nonetheless, mm -hmm. it's perfectly good as a manure. I don't say purchase yeah. a new, you purchase a trailer. Yeah, purchase a trailer to, well, to, to comply with the agreement. That shows good, to good faith from yes. this homeowner. Uh, we don't have this, we didn't put this on the um, agenda. Were we going to put the manure? Um, <laughs> There's all kinds of manure on there. Yeah, there, there is definitely a lot of. Um, conversation here, but were we going to add them to a possible being able to get them onto the agenda, but letting them know that we may not be able to? Uh, we so told that, that we weren't sure we were going to get anything to it, that we would have some sort of status update, but that an actual decision we hope to make on the 22nd. Okay, question then, while we are still on this topic from, um, do you have, um, should, should the Home, the a buttering homeowner be notified as to the progress that is taking place at this That's point. That's the board's will. If you would like me to notify the abutter, I will. I, I would. I, I would think that. if I can observe from the street the changes that are taking place, I would like to think that the other abutter must be able to observe this firsthand themselves. But if you would like me to do a more formal notification of them, I'd be happy to. What I would like to see. Um, is a quick little letter sent to them. Yep. You do not have to telephone or take time. I do also have her email if that is satisfactory. She has chosen to communicate by email as well. Uh, I would like to have a letter That's instead fine. of email um, updating as to what the homeowner on Priscilla yep. is undertaking. Yep. And we will discuss further more updates at our next meeting. Okay, very good. Perfect. Okay, because I don't want to get into an email um, situation okay. again for you. Not a problem. Okay. Um, local uh, regulation topics. We have some people coming in too, so we're going to keep that one. Um, Notes made. Okay. I'm going to hop right down to T21. Okay. A vote and enact the reg regulations for August 1st, 2017. I thought we had... So we, we accepted the draft regulations from Sh uh, Cheryl Savara. Mm -hmm. And then after we accepted the, re the reg uh, regulations, um, there was some question as to whether um, within 50 feet or 500 feet of a school... Yeah, there was already a mass mandate that... And uh, that wasn't included in the regulation, so I s sent an email to Sabara, and she said it was a like clerical error. I forget what the Latin term was. Mm -hmm. And she said to run it by town council. Okay. So I sent an email to Mr. Thorne. Didn't hear back from him. Emailed him again. Didn't hear back from him. So maybe you can contact him. Or I can just ask her to draft the regulations that we accepted as if they're considered to be um, actual legal regulations. My understanding is they were a draft. So do I ask Cheryl Savara for a final? Yes, I would think that we need to ask for a final, and we need to have that. And then put that, when that comes in, put it on the agenda. And then what it. we will do is we will end up voting to enact that. So if we, get, if we have that for the 22nd meeting, yep. you still shooting for August 1st? I think so. All right. I would think so. Okay, so if you could take care of that, that would be great. I think the results on um, Survey Monkey are too um, in depth. Uh, yeah, can you actually? Um, I found some more information on that, and I wasn't able to after the agenda came out, um, able to add it to it. So um, the information is very pertinent to the decision we would make. It's got. Um, the stats on exactly what the plastic bags um, do for the environment and how they're broken down. It talks about the cloth bags. It talks about the differences. Um, 
Yes. Okay. And um, but keep in mind, this is a. Right. I would never tell the board what to do, but this yeah. has been an open-ended topic, and there is no deadline. I right. personally happen to agree that the the board might want to do further research on its own and share that information, anything this is that you think would influence what decision you're going to make. And this can continue to remain on the agenda. And there's there's no deadline that you have to, to vote right, something right. today, but I think but all, all, all and, right. and I, I think that this information, I really didn't get a chance to read it no, all, and no, we can yeah. read this. Yes. I, I, I want to table okay. the survey monkey discussion because we have further information. But I do know that the town of Pembroke, via social media, is extremely interested in regards to the results of Survey Monkey. Okay. Um, I've seen online, and um, just to our viewing public, I do not choose to um, comment on anything that is put online. So if you have any concerns, please feel free to contact any of the board members directly or the chairperson. If you have something that you would like to say, I did read each and every one of these responses on the survey. My observation is, is it's too close it's to close. make a decision. So um, the percentages are very close in running. Um, and I don't feel comfortable making any type of a decision. I um, had seen that on this, because but this was very yeah. I was not able to get that yeah. in, and yes. as you know, my schedule's been kind of tight, so I was yeah. kind of pushing the paperwork. Mm -hmm. the and I think days. that this might be an interesting packet that we can put together for the townspeople, mm -hmm. including this information. I so. can um, get some more information on that. I didn't want to inundate the board tonight. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to give you a few statistics, yep. statistics, so that maybe we could. Um, look at things from a couple different angles. Okay, perfect. So why don't we turn around and we're also going to... I'll add my two cents. Please do. Um, I've read the comments online from the re some of the residents of Pembroke. And, and, I, and I think... Colorful. You know, col all right, I'll use your word, colorful. Mm -hmm. But I, I think the comments from Survey Monkey. And Lisa, I think you did a good job putting those questions out there. Thank you. I think the comments Thank you were. Deb Wall too. I'm sorry. Deb Wall, our, our chief mm -hmm. librarian, that actually mm -hmm. put the survey together. I just gave her the content. A, a lot of the comments, you could, they fell in one camp or another. There, there were a, a numerous amount of comments, and they were either very much in favor or very much against. There didn't seem to be a lot of middle ground. I think the plastic bag initiative, which has been, or the ban, has been undertaken in some communities. And I'd like to see, at some point, Pembroke make a decision one way or another. But I would agree with what both of my colleagues said. It's not something that should be taken lightly. No, I and think... Yeah, I the think more this is we a, educate ourselves. Yeah, this is this is a big, uh, and you can find arguments one way or another. But I, I thought it was the only comment I wanted to say was it was very refreshing to see the public get involved vis-a-vis -vis Survey Monkey. Um, sometimes we don't always get the input that we would like, and and I thought that was great that people feel strongly about the issue. Right, and the only and the only point negatively. which was a to me was a clear winner was the styrofoam difference. Supporting the end of the styrofoam food container, and I'd be with that information on yeah. that. So, so I'll be able to give will, you that. For um, the next. Let's add this, Sheila, to okay. the next meeting. But um, for the people of Pembroke, uh, there were over 600, I believe, 600 plus people who did um, take the survey. We yes. thank you, um, and for those who who went off topic, we thank you as well. Um, with that being said, I. What do we have next, Sheila? Uh, 61 Wampatuck Street. 61 Wampatuck Street. Riverhawk. Environmental, right? Yes. Sorry. I think it's 162. 162 Wampatuck. 161, right? Well, we have just 61 Wampatuck Street on our variance. 61? On our agenda. This was not a public hearing. Nobody notified me of the the slave clerical error will not impact the ability to take action. Okay. I missed the field chart here as well. Yeah, but it's not 60. It's 162. I'm sorry, it is 162. Okay, I'm here on the right night. <laughs> I was just testing him, he's new. <laughs> oh, don't you be afraid of her. Oh, <laughs> 
Correct. You notice they give you a copy. Is that um, the most recent one we let you roll out? Yes. Okay. And you are? I'm William. Hi, William. Jonathan Agney. I've never met you before. No, no. We just actually started the book. Um, No, we're the um, engineering company. Okay. Uh, Bob Rigo, the PE who prepared the plans, regretfully could not come tonight, so. Put you in the hot seat. Yes, yes, okay. exactly, exactly. This is an easy one, though, so hopefully, hopefully we can get right through it. Okay. So just to begin with, um, oh, we definitely will roll this up. Please, right. yes. It's a, it's a relatively small lot. It's uh, 0 0.129 acres of about 6,000 square feet. Um, there's a garage, in, uh, a single-family house in the front, a garage uh, slab on grade in the back. Um, we're requesting um, a variance for the SAS in the pump chamber be within 10 feet of the slab on grade garage, which is not, not occupied um, by anyone. Um, so that would come down from 10 feet separation down to uh, 5 feet for both of those. <coughs> and also, we are requesting a variance uh, for groundwater separation. It's really nice um, sand out there. We have great perp rates. However, um, we won't be able to have 5 feet of separation. Instead, we'd like to have 4 feet of separation between the uh, seasonal high groundwater table and the bottom of the SAS. Or typically, if it's two minutes per inch, we would need five feet. We just did a slab separation. So <laughs> they just approved that. So, um, and then five down to four. Number of bedrooms on this one? It, we're actually going to deed restrict it to two. Okay. okay. What was the um, home is occupied now? Yes. JPD yep. on this? <laughs> Tenants. Yes, has tenants in, in, in the front, and I, I believe so. Has to be a run. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yep, the, the house is in front, and there's um, ample separation between the tank. The tank is existing, the um, pump chamber is new, and the SAS will be new. Um, <coughs> Are you going to do a barrier? No, no barrier. That's mm -hmm. yeah, that's the thought. No that, barrier. Yep, yeah, so that was one thing actually that we. The reason that we um, tried to keep it level with the, with the ground so that we wouldn't need to do a raised system in any barriers or, or retaining walls barrier. or anything. Okay. Exactly. Okay. That's why, that's why we kept it so required to raise it. it. Was that the barrier that would have required you to raise it? Yeah. I think the uh, actually the opposite. If we raised it, we would have been required to put a barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gravity bolts don't have to. It's level. So yeah, the it would have been a little bit weird GPT. if we if we raised it. The grading around the garage would have been a little bit tricky. Mm-hmm. Because they're entering where, which way they're coming in to get into the garage. Off of which side? Ah, uh, they're coming from Cynthia. Cynthia, Cynthia yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. To make a motion, if you um, Madam Chair, <laughs> just a question that wasn't answered. Uh, design flow. Yeah. She asked. Should be. Uh, not seeing that. So that's 350. Yeah. So that's, 150 that's gallons correct. So size, therefore, the it's, it's, it's an appropriate request. I just wanted to make mm -hmm. sure. It's yeah. appropriate yeah. Yeah. to request yeah. that yeah. foot of separation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whereas, of course, if this had been at 220 like our previous, it would have been inappropriate to ask for that as well, which is why that system is coming up and why it shall be wrapped. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no setback variance to anything other than the garage, correct? Because the garage is way away from the house, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of yeah. course, the garage is a slab, hence. It, the, the two purposes for a poly mill membrane would be either one, raising a system out of the ground to prevent a uh, lateral outbreak of effluent from the side of a system, mm -hmm. or for a system that is fully submerged within the ground to prevent lateral, lateral outbreak to an occupied living space or an accessible space like a crawl space. <coughs> um, those are the two purposes. In, in this case, the, the garage is a slab garage. There is no place for the effluent to go laterally that would cause human harm or contact. So that's the five feet. Reduction in the slide. That, that's why five to four, correct. That's why it's appropriate. There's no there's no place for the effluent to go basically and in order to preserve access to the garage to, to raise the system would, would inhibit the access to that garage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the three variances on 162 Wampatuck Street as proposed. Do I hear a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that's it.
Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like me to leave this with you? Uh, I think we may have one in the file. Shelly, do we have one? I have it right here. I just want to make sure it's sure. got the same date. Definitely. I Before I let you just it all. take all. Oh, excuse me. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. We have it. Super. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming out. Good job. We'll report right back to your boss. Yes. Yeah, let Bob know. I did all right. Okay. And then I think <laughs> that's the audition. Perfect. Yours. Thank you. Perfect. The first meeting, first public meeting I ever went to was a conservation um, committee meeting in Wayland, Mass. And I went in the room, and there had to be 500 people, maybe angry citizens in, in the room. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh. And we were just trying to do uh, soil borings within 100 feet of a wetland. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, these guys are serious about this. <laughs> and they, they got through the meeting before, or the, 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 the point of um, objection on the, uh, the agenda before. And it turned out it was a um, eutrophication in a pond issue. And everyone in the room just about stood up, and it was just the conservation members left and I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. So this is this well, was was very easy to that. <laughs> oh good. Thank, I'm you so happy. <laughs> thank you. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Okay. Um yes. any, is, any of Arthur's buddies coming? You have no friends? I have no friends, no. I had a friend. Not even Joe? Mr. McGonagall, <laughs> Mr. McGonagall will not be able to make it tonight as his brother had a heart attack. So um, oh, sorry to hear that. More. He, he, yeah, I'm not sure family. that he's going to be okay, but I'm I'm very confident that they're not taking it lightly. He did notify us um, in the late. No, you don't take those things very lightly. Do you at know, all. Joe Webby. Mr. Webby assured me this afternoon he was coming, so we'll right, do another five minutes. Yeah, let's give him another. But five you can minutes. always talk to Mr. Bloomquist in the meantime. We can. Oh, well, he could do a dance um, So we're. <laughs> You want to just do a punch list, and we're gonna we're gonna actually table the plastic bags, right? Uh, plastic bags have been tabled. tabled. We're so gonna wave that away. away. Okay, one and yeah. the office protocol. I think um, with town meeting coming up, I have my own. I think that we should wait. Yeah. Table this until our a next long meeting. night tomorrow night. I'm not until telling you after you. the town meeting. You all know that <laughs> in um, the office, office protocol, protocol. because um, it may all be for naught. So I, I just think that we should table this. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so is, is your point being that if oh, Mr. Webby is here. If, okay. If, if Article Eleven. Mm-hmm. When the warrant passes, mm -hmm. do you move uh, creating the inspection of services department? Mm -hmm. Do you have the belief that it would change um, the office protocol since you're tabling it? I do, and I do. Okay. Yes. So you want to table it in relation I'd to like the article? I'd like to table it in relationship to the article in town meeting floor, and then we will pick it back up and see where we stand mm -hmm. under that article. I would make a I'm well. I'm tabling it, so I'm not really. I don't need to make a motion. Okay. If I table it, so, um, and then, re well, we've got here. So, guys, okay. come on in. What else do we need? Come on in. Let's <laughs> talk about some z -bow filter sleeves. As a point of interest, just. So the board knows, Mr. Webby, how many years in this industry, sir? Uh, mm -hmm. Way too many. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Bloomquist? Uh, I'm about 17. And, but, but more interesting of a statistic for you of, of approximately how many systems do you look at in a year? Oh. Um, oh, um. Three, four hundred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what you're seeing there is a person who's been designing them for more years than I've been alive and a gentleman that looks at more systems in a year than any five or six agents combined. Yeah. So hence, one of the questions that we had come up with is <coughs> we wanted to look at is um, the reference to the z -Bell, uh filter. Specifically the A100. The A100. We've required the larger size filter for well over 25 years and possibly longer. So the question came to the fact is, is this... Overkill? Yeah, is it overkill? Has it outlived its usefulness? Is there something else? Do we do homeowners not have to have it? Should they 
have it. So <coughs> we're just kind of looking for you guys to give us your opinion in regards to that. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it's, and also, it, as far as filth is a concern, that's the best. Okay. But the problem comes in is if you're trying to keep them clean. That's a major concern. That's, that's a major because concern. Because you don't have a lot of people that maintain. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. And then what happens is they, the pump will come along and not they can explain. Mm -hmm. Well, he's gone to, to sites where they're supposed to have it and they're not there. Mm -hmm. Because they just pull it out because it's a pain. But also they're fairly big too. And uh, if they pump from that side of the tank, which is not the ideal choice, they should pump it from the other side. But if they do pump from that side, they try to stick the hose in beside the filter because it is so big, it, they can break it off. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you know, there, there are another, another problem with the Zabel is that um, they fall apart. And it's, it's amazing how often they fall apart. The other filters mm -hmm. don't. I mean, these things do. Think they're poorly made or there's just so uh, much plastic uh, in them? The, the facts. It's, it's the bolt. The bolt fall apart. Yeah. And it, it's, it doesn't seem like you know, the, uh, they've said they've operated themselves well. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen improvements at last. Okay. They're bolted together. It's, a, it's, a, it's a layers that are all bolted together. And the, and the acid just eats away at the bolts. Mm -hmm. even, even plastic bolts, they just wear off and, and fall apart. So it's oftentimes I'll you know, on to clean it, and just the cover comes. So I've got to fish the pieces out and bolt them back together again. Let me ask you a hypothetical yeah. question. Out of all the systems you see, mm -hmm. okay, how many people do you think in the course of a year, what percentage do you think maintain their systems? You mean to, to a clean filters? Yeah, clean, uh, maintain their tanks, clean their filters. Well, pump the tanks, many people do. Many okay. people yeah, do. I would say that. Uh, I suggest that they clean filter every year. Right. Okay, once a year, sometimes even twice a year. Okay. Uh, as far as that's concerned, I would say almost nobody does. Nobody. Five percent. Five percent. Five percent clean every year. Take care of it. it, it mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's. It, it's a dirty job. They don't want to do it. Plus, out of sight, out of mind. Okay. Yep. Another another problem is that um, very often they're deep. So if you've got a filter that's a foot down, you're going to dig through a foot of dirt. It's just one more obstacle that makes it. You make sure they go up. I can go to the beach. I can mow the lawn. I can fertilize the yard. The things you see, and you go, ah, totally flush. This doesn't appear to be a problem. The, the, the fact that there are some homeowners, and, and I'm not calling them lazy, no. but, they're, no, but no, the no. fact that some homeowners are choosing to ignore or they're just not aware of right. whether there was the A100 or, and I wish I could point to the, uh, yeah. the other, well, the, thanks it. Lisa, um, so whether going. we have that smaller, which I have in my home, thank Lisa mm -hmm. is grabbing it right now, right. Lisa what do I call that one? This just a little. standard sleeve filter. This yeah. is this is a much smaller. We we would refer to this in the field as a sleeve type filter. Okay, so this sleeve type filter, which I have in my right. my home, again, if I got if I didn't want to dig right. a foot down, right. you're going to have the same problem. Right. Right. So this sleeve yeah. filter versus so untouched this right. sleeve filter versus the A100. Right. The A100 made presumably is doing a better job. It's it's it also uh, gives is you more. Is that correct? Am I making a correct statement? I believe that's correct. Um, it also, the A100 has a larger uh, capacity. Remember, you can, can uh, fill the more gallons per day. Uh, but this one here is something like 800, I think. Yes. 800 gallons a day for this one here, which is a, a huge amount for a house. Mm. So, I mean, if, oh, sorry. so if there's a homeowner that's maybe a little more on the ball, a little more meticulous, okay. they're taking the cover off, they're cleaning this. So if, if someone is proactive about their tank, this will be. This is probably easier to clean, yes. less likely to break. Yes. Then, but if someone is not touch, leaving their system alone and not cleaning, whether it's the sleeve or the A100, the A100 may in fact be doing a better job. It'll last a little longer. You know. Yeah. It'll last. Yeah. yeah. This this is going to force people to pump sooner, or more yeah. often. That mm -hmm. filter will become impacted more rapidly, forcing backups yes. into the home and, and causing a homeowner to take action. Because most of the time when the you have your septic system, and please correct me mm -hmm. if I'm incorrect, yeah. when you have your septic system pumped mm -hmm. and, you know, the verdict is out in between one year or two years, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. um, the septic pumping company should be taking this out. They do. And clean it. Sometimes you have to ask them. To. They should. They yeah. should. They now, should. now yeah. I get to if be it's the mean, there. These right. two gentlemen are going to be nice, but now I'm going to be the mean health agent because mm -hmm. I'm mean yeah. and I'm the authority. You're mean? And I'm, I, I am. Okay. I'm the mean person, and I can say seventy percent. 
I can say that, that no, I'd go even a little lower, about 65 to 70. Man, I'd go in Pembroke 70 because they know it's a pet peeve of mine. We'll actually take out and clean that filter. And then there are companies, and I will not name them, but I've, I've come behind their work where they're not pumping out the solids and they sure as heck aren't cleaning out that filter as it would require opening and it's very obvious when you get onto a site that the outlet side of the tank wasn't dug up which is the only place that filter should be which is therefore they're not doing it. The other argument I'll make is uh, I agree with both of these gentlemen that when you talk strictly capacity um, and, and overall lifespan the Zabel A100 is the better product and here's my problem now as an inspector with the A100 I'll pick on it now is that if it fails it is the filter that is less likely to be repaired and replaced. It's going to be tossed in a pile out in the woods, and I have pictures of it where people have tossed the old And they're bypassing. And they're, and they're bypassing. They're not putting in anything. Mm -hmm. Where I have found in my experience when that filter there fails or impacts or doesn't get cleaned because it is relatively inexpensive at approximately 50 to $60 on the market, and the fact that most pumpers will actually carry one of those with them and have them in their truck, they're much smaller, and to install them, when the A100 falls apart, it's its actual shaped housing that falls apart, which means you need not only the filter, you need this housing, now you need to get in there with a saw, cut off from the PVC this housing, reattach this housing with a, a, a PVC cement, it's a pretty big amount of work. When this particular sleeve fails, very rarely, Arthur, correct me if I'm wrong, does the T right. fail where yeah, it sits. Therefore, someone can just literally, right. and, and I, I'm going to be mean now, but a monkey can sit and drop in this sleeve, whereas if a Zabel A100 fails, someone's really got a, a couple hours of work oh, to, to replace more that, that, that product, whereas that is a 10-second replacement. Therefore not neglected and therefore more likely to go back into service as opposed to a failing A100. Yeah, this filter can be, can be replaced without pumping the tank. Whereas with the A100, you can pump the tank, plus the pipe, there's a leg under it. It's two hours of being yeah. very kind. It's, it's mm -hmm. more than that. It can be it's, more. It's a mm -hmm. okay. So this is basically, you take the cover comes off the septic tank. Right. This guy gets pulled right, right. out. Pulls with the garden off. hose, they can clean it out. Right. Have a question. Yeah. This is still made of plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not mm -hmm. seeing really a lot of hardware, mm -hmm. nuts and bolts. Correct. This will break down oh, yeah. over time. Yeah. If a septic company comes out to pump a tank, mm -hmm. and they happen to pull this out of someone's septic tank, mm -hmm. and it breaks, mm -hmm. who's responsible? Well, well, the homeowner. Homeowner. It's, it's the homeowner. Pay for it. It's, it's, it's like if your roof's leaking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty. It's a pretty but it's cheap a cheaper. Product. It's a cheaper yeah. product. Cheaper. It's sixty to seventy dollars versus the cost of an A one hundred, which is a minimum of a hundred. It's probably up to a hundred and a quarter now. Plus the two hours. plus labors um, of hours. Mm -hmm. I think and we have those this pictures. also yeah, would require some education on the town owners. We have a lot of people that move in from cities or oh, towns yeah. that have yeah. storage. Yeah. They have absolutely no clue about this. I remember one woman was dumping her cat liver into the toilet, a brand new <coughs> system, um, and she couldn't understand how mm -hmm. come her, t her system had failed. Mm -hmm. Well, she lived and she came from the city. So she had always dumped cat litter into mm -hmm. the toilet. And grease and garbage grinders. There was well, she ended up with a big bat of butt load of cement on the bottom of her. Right. And yeah. her, the whole tank yeah. needed to. And there's no question education is the important part. Yeah. And, and less laziness, more just they don't know. Okay. Right. And out of sight, out of mind. It, it, well, it is. And septics to people are like, oh, I've got a tank in the ground versus yeah. storage going yeah. by. Okay. Yeah. It all works the same until they get an overflow. Right. And then they're like, where's my septic tank? Mm -hmm. you know? the, the purpose of the filter is to keep the sludge out of the, out of the D box, out right. of the septic system. I have a picture here of, of some sludge that I dug out of a D box. <laughs> that is just, just what shovel. you wanted to see tonight, <laughs> isn't it? It's so pretty. Uh, th this is the sludge. D box. And here's the sludge. You know, our job is so much better. Filter. We work with this stuff okay, before it's in use. People didn't clean the filter. Uh, here's another picture of what this is. Joe's just out. sitting there smiling. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get the look, <laughs> I don't get the look at it. <laughs> he looks at the brand new ones. Yeah. This is what I look at. And here's one that is in pretty decent shape. Very little scum mm -hmm. here, okay, compared to a shovel full here, mm -hmm. okay. And here's another another picture. This was a, a picture that was done with a camera run through the, the pipe into okay. the box. You see how high the sludge is. Yep. Here's the pipe right here, mm -hmm. and the sludge is, is fairly deep there. So, <laughs> the purpose of the filter is, is certainly important. It's important to have a filter. Whatever filter yeah. you have is important. 
A suggestion might be at some future point on, on Title V regulations is to is to change the regulations and not look for more regulations, but I suppose I guess I'm encouraging this. Uh, to to have a sometimes require the ri a riser on the on the filter side. Yeah. Okay. And bring mm -hmm. the, the bring the cover to grade. It's it's more work for the homeowner. Uh, it's more cost for the homeowner. I understand right. that. <laughs> but in the long run, if the cover is right there, mm -hmm. it takes really ten minutes. Pull the cover off. Hose it off. Stick it back in. It's it's no big deal. It's mm -hmm. very Incidentally, simple. we we already do. It, it's not a written regulation, but I know Mr. Webby calls out for it on his plans. I know Mr. McGlone right. calls out for it. And you know but that's first thing for the homeowners to be aware of what's going on with this right. stuff. Right. Versus a shovel full deep. Exactly. Right. exactly. I like exactly. that idea. Get a riser on it and bring it up. But Mr. Webby um, knows yeah. how mean I can do be. For it. Do we want? Do we? Um, there are some homeowners that really shouldn't be touching. Well, I, I, I agree it. with you. 100%. Oh, I, that's that. what's kind of making me. Yeah, really, I, I'm sitting here getting yeah. kind of, uh, yeah. um, of thinking that I still want to leave it up to the inspectors. Mm -hmm. uh, the the the, the their homeowner is not going to clean their filter, and and the, and the reality is, and and gentlemen disagree with me if, if I'm wrong. If you're pumping your system every two years, that's plenty off enough to clean your filter. There's no need for supplemental. Yeah, you don't have to cleaning. do it. Someone else is going to take yeah. care of cleaning this. Correct. Yeah. And and any good pumper should do that. I, I when people are willing to listen at the window, they do get that. And and Arthur sat there and listened to me do this spiel a hundred times. I said, if you're having a good pumper, make sure all solids removed, and if they're clean, then that they clean your filter. And if they're not, you need to find yourself a new a new pumper because they're mm -hmm. not doing. What I would have done when I pay for a system to be pumped, for example, my own home. Mm -hmm. okay. When a system is pumped, does a record come back to the to this well, office of gallons removed? Yes, yes. gallons removed. But can yeah. we have a checkbox that if it has a filter if that it has been makes, cleaned and yeah. replaced? If this board makes a regulation, mm -hmm. as of right now, we cannot compel that. It is not a regulation in existence. Correct. Uh, but this that could be made. Our health agent has stated at least three times in the last five minutes that she can be very mean. So <laughs> I, I, I would agree with that comment. But I would also agree with her comment when we started this discussion. She talked about the experience, uh, not only in the number of years, but the expertise that both of you have. I know when I came from the city, Gail, where we had sewer, <laughs> I moved to Pembroke. I knew nothing about septic. I don't know how much I know about septic now. But a couple of the first things that I did when I moved to Pembroke is I put a riser on my own and I also purchased one of these and you know I think I don't know what the average homeowner is uh, maybe I'm a, not a better homeowner but my septic I was interested I take this off every year and I clean it myself when my septic tank is being pumped I stay outside with my dog and I watch because I want to see and learn as much as I can but not everybody's doing no, that. No, no, okay. most don't. Yeah, most don't. They most schedule people, for the, when they're the at work. The housewife that called yeah. in to have it pumped has yeah. no yeah. desire to get it on. Right, and yeah. there may be a pumper that is for whatever reason two hours behind schedule and maybe eight out of ten times they do take this out but maybe there might be some instances where you know what I'm two hours behind I'm not pulling this out. So, I mean, there are many variables that come into play, but I do want to circle back to if I would, you know, if I were a, uh, an attorney and I asked you, if you're on the stand, both of you, would you prefer, given the variables that happen not only within the tank, but also some homeowners that don't pay as much attention, would you like to see this over the A100, Joe? I'm asking well, you. Well, I have that. Yeah. It's at my house. Uh, okay. I've been in my house for 19 years. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, you'd like to see this because things stop. It's it's easier it's, to it's maintain. It's, it's easier to maintain, yeah. and it gives you that warning right. when yeah. things are starting to go wrong. I I pump every on the odd year, every odd year. Mm -hmm. And do you clean this? Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, if I leave a hose, I use no. <laughs> I was going to say someone else there. cleans well, this. Yeah, I can yeah. leave the hose right there at the tank, and he, he cleans it. Okay. The only and and he writes it right down that he cleans it. The only concern that I have by going to a product that for certain homeowners where it's easier to replace, where if it breaks they will replace it. They may clean it. But there are homeowners that aren't going to do anything. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the, in those instances, regardless, the A100, which presumably does a better job than the sleeve. It, right, but it's still going to clog up sometime. <laughs> okay. If you know what I mean. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly right. right. Arthur, same, same question yeah. for you. This thing here was with A100. So okay. The A100 not being cleaned still gets a pass. Of course. I have an A100 in my house. Okay. And I put the A100 in on, in on my house only because it was the most expensive. I figured it's going to be the best. And I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I, I, they fall apart. They're a pain in the neck. And I, I, I've got mine in, so I'm going to keep it. But um, if I were to do it over again, I think I'd put these the sleeve in. Okay. And Lisa, take me back to the, is it the Pembroke, reg help me, the Pembroke regulations as currently stated say that a, a septic in Pembroke, a new septic, must have the? A100 or equivalent. Okay. And how long have we had that bylaw in place? Better than, better than 25 years. Sheila and I, it goes, it goes back <laughs> before specific components of the septic regulation were even called out. So it's impossible to determine what exact date. It was kind of lumped in, if you would. Um, as Title V started to roll out, but back then boards were less specific about calling out specific pieces, so there's no date. We went back, how, how far did we, we went like through a lot of minutes and we could not find an exact date where that was voted. So either it was, it was passed en masse in, in 95 or just before, but we're pretty confident it, it goes before that. And again, keep in mind, things like this sleeve didn't exist then. Did, would people have made a different decision if something like that had existed then? I don't know. I can't. I can't go back in time, and I don't know who made that decision. When I moved into my home in '91, it didn't have the sleeve, yeah. mm -hmm. and it was right. the guy who pumped who. And in Pembroke, that's okay for a retrofit. In, again, new designs, it, it requires A100, but sleeves are allowed for a retrofit for those citizens that want it. That the tanks are older, and didn't have it, such as yours. Okay. I, I think the last question for me: Can you folks, both mm -hmm. of you, speak to some of our local commu surrounding communities as it relates to? The regulation with an A100 versus the sleeve is. Do you I, I don't think the only one A100 is Duxbury. It's Duxbury, yeah, Duxbury. Yeah. I'm Duxbury. Duxbury. Yeah. Yeah. Duxbury. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else just uses that. Okay. They, we right. we call them the 1800. Yeah, that's true, and yeah, that's what that's what it's called. The mm -hmm. Villa Government we'll call is, the, is the 1800. 1800. Yeah. That that Zabo calls it Z that, but there are right. other makers that make that exact right. similar type exactly. of sleeve type. Yeah, and I don't. I I, I, I think that Duxbury is completely different if it's. Still, the only the only town using the larger one, um, but that's in eighteen hundred. Yeah. You know what? If it's all right with Madam Chair, I'd like to check on that. You'd like to check on um, the that's, towns that use it. That's better, yeah. On the, what, it, sure, you do absolutely. If you want to check on that, that's fine. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, I. Yeah. I, I, I would. Um, very, I just want to get, get their um, point of view on um, they're the only ones that are using the A100. That's, that's what you say. Yeah, in this I, I kind of like to get a perspective on because Duxbury is a pretty fluent town on why they are mm -hmm. staying with the A100 versus the Zabel 1800. Mm -hmm. You know, just to get uh, a couple of pros and cons on that. I think the Zabel is definitely a better filter. I think it gives. Um, more protection to the homeowner because it has a tendency of failing it, um, when it gets clogged up, right? Well, it starts, yeah, you well it's not it failing, but down. it has has a tendency of letting you know. It's like the green light going off or the red light going off. There's a warning going on here that you're in potential trouble with your system. And if you can start at the very beginning just by replacing a filter, Versus letting it go to the point where you start dealing with damage. the residual da effects, damage. the yes. damage yes. and the yes. residual when effects. It, when the sludge gets down the pipe and into your field, it's a little too late. No, it's, no, it's, it's, yeah. it's done. And you're over. Right. Now you're gonna. Now the field's yeah. gonna fail because exactly. it's gonna get caught in the little holes. But exactly. yeah. Joe, so when you're designing new now for all these new systems, this is <laughs> this is standard protocol. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I hearing Ms. McSweeney wanting to do a little more research, and I can appreciate that. Uh, as I'm stand, sitting here this evening with two, and thank you for both for Absolutely. coming. Uh, you know, it was nice to have you here. I respect both these yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. I would I would like to make a motion to amend the Pembroke bylaws, which currently state that the Zabel A100 should go in each and every tank, and I would like to amend our local bylaws to to replace that with the. A, a, the 1800 or equivalent. 
or equivalent. Or equivalent. It's it's equivalent. equivalent. Yeah, that's and yes. understand by stating that the option is still there for someone that chooses the A100 because it would be Correct. actually okay. superior mm -hmm. by technical every technical definition, both by filtration and capacity. So understand while while the board's calling out that filter, understand that if someone insists or wants or or feels that that's a better product, they have that option. And that's for other towns too. Correct. In other towns, you certainly could have one if you wanted to, mm -hmm. which is not required. Right, you can pay for anything right. and have anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, my motion. Okay. I'd actually like to second that motion. Okay. Um, all in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Um, and what I have done, I, while you were asking your questions, I quickly noted under um, some more topics that we may like to discuss is thinking about um, changing any type of regulation for when on the form mm -hmm. that they if they clean if this is there that they've got to know whether they've cleaned it or not and or replaced it and then um also some possibly you know some friendly thoughts do you do you know about your call septic out, system call out the out, outlet side yeah did you yeah did you well the other thing is is for for just the public's knowledge do you know about your septic system and what well, i see, really need education. and don't need an education education piece you know, as a realtor, if you're selling somebody something and they've come from a, a, a I service sit down, town. Yeah, I sit down and I say, I have my little spiel. Yeah. Um, and I, <laughs> I, try, I only laugh because these poor gentlemen have listened to my spiel. I, I Joe's that you don't your mean, is that your mean spiel? No, it's not, it's not a mean spiel, but Joe's must have listened to me at this point hundreds of times when a homeowner's getting a system replaced. I, I explain care, I explain sizing and choices. Um, Joe just must shake his head at some point, either that or I don't know what he thinks, to be perfectly honest with you. And He's I, a I, quiet it's man. A, yeah, it's well, the first, thing, the first thing I do when I walk into a home is I go right to the sink and I peek. And I, oh, oh, exactly. <laughs> and they exactly. look at me, what? I said, no, no, we're in the country. You can't have a cup. Oh, my God, I'm yeah, always at a garbage disposal. I'm not. Well, no, yeah. you're getting a compost pile. It, yeah. Especially in the, the newer developments, people people are very concerned about that, mm -hmm. and I do everything I can yeah. to... And the plans all it. state. They still right. all state. Right. They this still is all not designed it. to right. handle, because that's what's going to cause it to fail. That's, 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 that's what's going to cause it to fail. The more solids go into the tank, the more likely they're going to pass the tank. Right. They, they, they exactly. Pass. So right. I believe that we had um, all in favor, yes. and we all said aye. So. Yes. Just um, a, a little anecdote. When I first moved to Pembroke and I had my tank pumped, I did not have one of these. And the sep the guy that was pumping my tank, made the pitch to put, <laughs> made the pitch to put one of these in. Yeah. And I was skeptical. I yeah. thought it was an upsell from a guy that wanted to sell me a uh, eighty dollar piece of. And I said, look at this. Now the health agent doesn't remember, but I came in here. You're a, you're a board member at the time. And I came in here and I tried to, I said, what is this? Because I didn't want to spend $80 feeling that I was taken. And I didn't buy one from the guy who pumped my tank. I went out and bought one on my own. <laughs> Where did you buy it? On 53. Oh, and did you save that much money? It wasn't about saving the money. It was initially I thought the guy that was he pumping my tank right. was trying to, so and that's what the it. consumer's faced with sure. yeah. every so you, day. Yeah, you just had a question, that's all. Yeah. Whether well, I, yeah. yeah. It's just uh, basically education. If anybody comes education. from this outside town right. and they've always had storage, they have no clue. No. And uh, they might be... Um, told as far as pumping their septic tank that they have to do that and then they're going to be like, where do I find it? Mm -hmm. You talk about a filter, you're throwing them way into, mm -hmm. you know. But sometimes they sell chemicals too and I, I, I don't have to agree with that. No. Okay. The, filters, I think, are great the red X. We we have a regulation I, against that. I and yeah, there is no, there is no, no I don't, yeah. 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 No. I don't cover chemicals, but I do like filters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, and he added, so, you know, guys, really, we greatly appreciate hearing from the, the men that know. Hey, Great really minds. I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> 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 Thank Good you. to see All you, right. Good to see you. Nice to see Good you, Arthur. Yeah. Arthur. Thank you. John. Well, the doctor's Thank you. Good. 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 New business. I, I really, um, the, the only one question, I, I was in town hall um, the night that uh, ComCon was um, working with, um, no, it wasn't ComCon, 
the, the marijuana um, issue. Planning board. Planning board. And the water department ha happened to be, three of the guys happened to become walking mm -hmm. out. And one of them is my neighbor. He handed me a sheet of paper, which we have given to all of you. Yeah. I really haven't had any time to research it, but from what I'm reading, it doesn't really lead me anywhere. It's a possible study. I'm the question that was proposed by the water department is nobody on the water department can remember when the town of Pembroke started putting fluoride in the water. It's funny that you mentioned that because in searching okay. for all this other stuff, I find references going back to the 60s. Okay. Of fluoridation in the water. Right. And the, the so the water department is saying they don't know when we started putting fluoride, who even recommended or why we started putting fluoride in our water system. What the homeowner I guess is trying to say is is that it's it's attributed to thyroid rates, underactive thyroid rates. Um, we are not health medical people. No. Um, Something like this, Madam Chair, if you don't mind um, me interrupting. Um, in reading this and in looking at this, and where we're not medical professions, I'd be more inclined to put this to ask the people, the residents of the town. Number one, this is going to affect the children. You know that fluoride is huge when you're bringing your children to the pediatrician. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it, I think it should be pretty much the town to decide at this point, the, the town people. Mm -hmm. This is um, a healthy issue that they've already done. Um, if they're looking at um, different things that they try, their children need or mm -hmm. even adults that they need to stay away from, you know. Right, and I think the medical community needs to advise on anything having to do with a statement that fluoride in water is showing that it is possi possibly, possibly a root cause to thyroid right. issues. That's all hypothetical. Exactly. You know, we could, you know, could we, someone come in and say, it's, you know, I got cancer because Google this search. fluoride. Came up with a whole bunch of things that say, why should fluoride be in the water? And then a whole bunch right. of things. Right. And, and I could give you, over the but, years. But cancer studies, doctors, dentists, whatever, I mean, it, it doesn't, at first blush, mm -hmm. just on quick Google search, doesn't even look like the medical community is... Right. together on whether this is good or no, bad or anything. Exactly. Different. And this is why I, I, I'm, my feeling, my personal feeling, I don't know how the board feels about this, but I think this is something that really we should put in the residents' hands because this is, it's, fluoride's like a drug, okay? Mm -hmm. um, it's supposed to enhance the teeth and help the children, but um, I, I think that this is something, whether or not they should decide whether or not they want to control on their own. Mm-hmm. Or whether or not, and I don't think um, they do, and I, I don't believe the owners should really stand on the board of health with this one. And and I, in reading what was presented, I didn't feel that. I thought that it would be um, maybe as we had Joe and Arthur come in, maybe in a future meeting it would be nice to get the water commissioner to mm -hmm. sit down and find out what information, I mean, if we found that in any records going back to the 60s, that... It started in, in as early it. as 1933, in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1945, some of the earliest okay. issues. Yeah. And right now, according to the CDC, 72% of all U.S. populations served by a public water system have fluoride in them. Right. Mm -hmm. That is a this lot of people. Is, this homeowner is trying to state that they have thyroid disorder oh, from because of... And then it goes back and oh, forth to cancers and I, studies I, I, and, and everything right. else. Yeah. So um, I think so I think maybe on a future agenda item, and I'm going to yes. leave this for yes. for um, after the reorg. Um, I sense a new survey monkey coming. I think so. I'm just going to add maybe fluoride. Maybe the board of public engagement. Fluoride in water. Hey. That's not a bad thing. Uh, it's there, not, it, it, to me, this is a personal. This is something that as as a mother or as a grandmother. Mm -hmm. um, this is something I'm educated about. Mm -hmm. I've been to the doctors, I've been to the pediatrician, I've been to the primary care. Um, these are questions that I would rather ask my doctor mm. than have the Board of Health make the decision for me. Agreed. I disagree. 
Okay. Yeah. I, I, I think the board should continue to look at this. I absolutely, well, absolutely, this. I absolutely agree with you that the, the public, the citizens of Pembroke, should be able to weigh in. Right. I'm not. I'm not so sure that. And I don't know if you implied this, Gail. I don't want to put words in. I'm not so sure that we should separate ourselves from the matter. But I, I think that we as a board, it would be our onus to discuss the subject and look into it. And, and I, I don't know if Survey Monkey, as our health agent just said, I don't know yes or no, but I would absolutely like to see the public weigh in and be involved. Definitely. But I, would, I wouldn't like to, I would prefer, as a, a third of the current uh, Board of Health, I would like to see a state keep this issue in the, in the forefront and, right. and look and, at and it. I, and I've yeah. actually yeah. added this to the the list of topics yep. coming up. Um, now this, this the ball started here, I believe, with the DBW commissioners. That's how it started with the floor. They wanted the to water. know, they were asking um, the Board of Health if we remembered why fluoride was fluoride ever added the to the water and when in Pembroke that that, had, that process started. Now I'd like to also see came what from Mr. Federico and Ms. Mr. Bass Bass Bassinelli. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was another person there. Okay. But I was running out because it was late. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add that on to a future meeting. Um, so I'm we we have discussed it. We're going to add it to a future agenda, and I just have it written down, Sheila. The, the, the scoop to poop I thought was very, very interesting. I actually found that um, in a card in the town clerk's office, um, which I didn't know. So I thought that might be something n nice to put out on our website. Could I ask a question, please? See, at least there's, um, mm -hmm. I know a few years ago that um, we did the stations, the poop stations down at the ball fields and the beaches. Yes. Do we still do that? Uh, conservation has been maintaining those. They usually get bags a couple times a year and put them out there. Okay. There has been a small hiccup with that, though, that there was some problems with the Department of Public Works picking up the trash barrels as they would be so extraordinarily heavy um, from dog poop. So the stations are maintained, but removal at times is a challenge. Do you think maybe if we put a poop bucket down there for the special... Oh, I think it's it's not a matter of containment. I my understanding is the trash barrels within one week are overwhelmed with poop, yeah. and if you can understand yeah. a trash barrel without well, and, and down the trash ball fields. Ball, it, yeah, right. exactly. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a certain aesthetic to it, and there's a certain weight right um, sure. to it. So I think that that is going to continue to be a challenge. As far as I know, this season we've been okay, but we have had some challenges with removing the containers because of the weight um, in the past. Because I, I would think that those get pretty mm -hmm. heavy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Pretty heavy. It, that's exactly the challenge. Um, I know a Tommy Gate was installed on one truck to assist with that. I will check with um, Assistant Director Blobbin and see if that continues to remain a challenge. Okay. And if I'm going over this agenda, um, I'm just looking at the hour here. I'd like to um, table um, the... Under old business, the Pembroke local regulation will bring up at the next meeting, Sheila, um, on the no variances, discussion on no variance for new construction, and should we vote to clarify the no footage within 10 foot feet of a septic component? How did, uh, can you just tell, how did that topic, I, I know we, the first when we started to look at some of the issues that we were going to tackle week by week. That Was would that be number, number two. two. Mm -hmm. That would be number two. So right. we just okay. took care of that one. So we were going to vote on one, we were going to discuss, yep. then vote the next night, and then talk about another one and try and go through. I think we've also um, added a number 14, which was the vacant homes in a fee to be charged. So and of course the board should continue to act uh, actively update and alter. I mean, you don't have to mm -hmm. take up those things in order. If certainly mm -hmm. something more pressing comes up, right. it should be moved to the forefront. All so right. with that being said, um, town meeting, I'm sure Tomorrow. most of the um, town knows. Uh, town meeting starts tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Please exercise your right and come out and be a part of the vote the voting process and then Saturday's elections are um, taking place this coming Saturday 
and while the um, make your pitch, while the voters, um, while the well, no, what she she is. It is. no, while there are no con hot contested or any contested um, jobs, uh, Mr. Gary Fine is up for re-election. Uh, on you, Saturday, you. You the best um, <laughs> we are. We would ask that um, if you do support Gary, please fill in his name, and then there is going to be a writing question. But the validity of that will depend on the town meeting. Therefore, I. That's why I'm asking everyone to please be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Without any further ado, unless we have anything to discuss further, it is now 8:04. May I get a? Motion to adjourn. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good night. See you tomorrow.